Hi people, you're welcome to Max Health Program. Max Health Program is a health program that gives us information on everything that has to do with our health. Please stay tuned because it really promises to be very exciting. The program will be right back. You're welcome back and this is the doctor's perspective segment basically what we do on doctor's perspective segment is we pick a topic and i give us things that are important for us to know about that particular topic and today i'll be talking about chlamydia what is chlamydia chlamydia is one of the common sexually transmitted diseases and this infection is easily spread because it often has no symptom that's uh, one problem about chlamydia type of infection you might be having chlamydia for months even for years and you might not have any basic symptom until and that is why it's always advisable that you get to check yourself running a culture test at least once in six months in as much as, as i said you don't we don't really experience any basic form of symptom but you still experience some few not common though for everybody so for um for women the chlamydia symptoms in women are number one abnormal vaginal discharge that may have odor abnormal you have abnormal discharge that may have odor two bleeding between period bleeding between your periods probably you're supposed to see your period in the next two in the next two weeks or in the next three weeks and before you know it in a week time you have seen the period in another week time you have seen the period that's that's, that's what I mean by bleeding between periods. Now, the third one is painful periods. A lot of women particularly complain about painful period, painful menstruation. When you find that your menses is so painful, though not particularly that you have chlamydia that you're having painful period, but there are times that if you have um, a long-standing infection, it might lead to pains during your menstrual flow. Now, the fourth one is abdominal pains with fever you have you complain of abdominal pain and you have some form of symptom of fever also another symptom is pain when having intercourse pain when having intercourse another is itching or burning in or around the vagina area another symptom is pain during or with urination when you have to go and urinate and you experience pain those are the symptoms too now quickly what are the symptoms of chlamydia in men one is they have painful urination also men too have particularly even the men that even have painful urination more than the um, the women now number two is burning and itching around the opening of the manhood the man complains i have burning or he has itching around the tip particularly of the manhood now another symptom is also is pain and swelling around the testicle pain and swelling around the testicle and the last one is that i like to mention is small amount of clear or cloudy discharge from the tip of the penis they have discharge you call it discharge the men have this discharge at the tip of their manhood that's a symptom of chlamydia also now how is this chlamydia how can i even know that i have chlamydia as, as an infection how can i how is it diagnosed now the major thing that um, you, you do is you have to visit your laboratory laboratory run what we call a culture test it collects swab from the woman or use a urethral swab for the men to be able to detect if they have this infection or, or not another way by which you can use to know is when you run a urine culture test Yes, when you're in a urine culture, it either shows either you have it or you don't have any form of growth. Now, what happens if I do not get this infection treated on time? Now, on the side of the women, it leads to PID. And this PID leads to scarring of the fallopian tube, which eventually leads to infertility in women. So if you leave chlamydia for too long in your body system as a woman, it leads to PID. And this PID leads to scarring of the fallopian tube and this leads to infertility also untreated chlamydia infection could also increase the chances of ectopic pregnancy now what i think can it lead to is it also cause premature births and spontaneous abortion and also one major thing also is for women that are pregnant 
because you can't say because they are a pregnant woman, you can also come in contact with this kind of this type, um, this particular infection. And most times, the mother usually transfers this infection to the baby, to the or even to the unborn baby or even to the newly born baby. So please let us make sure that immediately we know we have this infection. Let us take proper attention and care and treatment immediately so that we don't have any further complication. Now, what are the symptoms in men? For people that have a lot, I mean, that have chlamydia, if it is not well taken care of in men, it leads to what we call epididymis. Now, epididymis is a condition of painful testicles. That's for men that have it. And this leads to also infertility in men. I'm sure we have learned a whole lot on this particular segment of the program. Please stay tuned. The program returns shortly. For sponsorship and advert placement, please contact Bimbo on 0807 176 7592 or 0803 778 3305. Hello, welcome to Healthy Recipes. I'm Celia Penny. Today we're going to be making pancake. And the simple recipe, pancake recipe, is the wheat flour, but this is not just the white wheat flour, it's the whole wheat flour. And usually what I do with my whole wheat flour, if I'm going to make anything at all, I add, I seed it. I make sure that um, we have a lot of things inside that is uh, chewable. Okay, so I'm going to add some um, sesame seed to it. And again, I'm going to add some um, the bean flour, you know, the ordinary bean flour. And just to make sure that I add even more protein to it. Okay, so very simply, and then of course we have one egg. So it's going to be very, very healthy and it's something that you can have for breakfast. Okay, so we have this much of milk. Okay, and uh, we'll break one egg. Then, so this is brown sugar. You can always have brown sugar, but very little, not too much. The marara sugar, add to it, and of course when you're whisking it, uh, it gives you that um, sweet taste, okay? done you can just add your flour and of course usually I like to use my um, the cup to measure but I think I'm just gonna yeah just a quarter cup just a quarter cup of flour will do and you whisk that and make sure that you get a, a good batter with that and we're still having to add the bean flour, just one tablespoon of bean flour, the sesame seed, one tablespoon also. Now that what what that does is that it adds quite a bit of chewables, you know, fiber to the whole mixture. We're gonna use our pan, add a bit of oil, add a bit of oil just to grease the pan. We'll scoop this right. Wow, just one spoon. Oh, look at that. Wow. Now, I like to take it a step further by, you know, um, adding some fruits to it. And so what I'm going to do is just grate my apple on it. There you go. It's really, really nice. Oh, I love the apple. And I just wish it could be here. Hmm. With the apple. Wow. 
beans, bean flour, whole wheat flour, egg, apple, and soy milk. Mm. Well, I hope that um, you learned something today and you're going to try something out at home. Just make sure that you vary the fruit. You can add all kinds, you can use any kind of fruit that you want. It can be a mango, it's absolutely